Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Mario. Welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new, consider subscribing, hit the bell notifications, like this video, share it with your friends and families. Uh, the point of this channel is I am here to reveal to you that we are real apostolics with real problems, with real solutions, all solved in a divine way. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you the number one trap we are already falling for in 2021. Now, if you remember, it wasn't just six days ago that we started a brand new year. And with all brand new years, brand new months, brand new weeks, we all have a sense of hope, right? We, we, have, a, we have a fresh perspective on things, right? We, 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 we can start brand new, right? Every morning you, you wake up in, in hopes and dreams and everything like that. And we're six days into 2021 and what's already happened? Tragic event. Now, I personally didn't hear about this tragic event until last night. Not because I went and searched for it because I told you I would not watch the news anymore because I'm not gonna fill my mind with all that negativity and garbage that it continually produces 24 seven. And, and I still haven't looked into it and I'm not going to look into it, right? I told you that my number one goal for 2021 is to be focused on what I can control in between the four walls of my house and in between the four walls of my church. That's, that's it. Everything else gonna have to put on hold. But I started hearing about this and I'm just like, man, that would happen. You would start hearing those rumors that, man, 2021 is going to look just as bad as 2020. It's just like I thought about it. And the reason why I pulled over I'm out in the middle of nowhere, I don't even know where I'm at. But I started thinking like the enemy would do that. The enemy would, when he has the opportunity, try to take away our hope. I mean, guys, it wasn't six days ago. 2021. The first week, we're in a week of bliss, right? Nothing could go wrong. Six days later, bam. So why am I making this video? I'm here to warn somebody to not fall for the trap. Remember, our war, it's not between flesh and bone, man to man. It's between those spirits all around us in the spiritual world, the spiritual realm. That's where our true battle is. And so the enemy, what he will try to do is he will look at you and he will say, you know what? I know you were about to have some hope, but you know what I do best? Well, I'm going to read it for you. John 10:10. 10, 10, Jesus describes the thief, our enemy, as this. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and destroy. Let me repeat that again. The thief comes not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. Now, what is what is he stealing? What, what does he want to take away besides hope? He wants to take away the one that we look to our hope in, and that's Jesus. If you believe Jesus to be the Holy Spirit, they are one in one. Here's what the Spirit produces in our life. Galatians 5, 22 and 23, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, Against such, there is no law. That'd be great right now to have a, a little bit more love, right? It'd be great night right now to have a little bit more joy or peace or gentleness or goodness, faith, right? Of course it would be. So what the enemy is trying to do right now, just six days into the new year, he wants to take it all away. He knew we were getting close as a nation, as a church, as an individual, that man, we, we were on the verge to, to, to focusing our eyes where it needed to be focused, which is on Jesus, and saying, yeah, I do see hope now. I do see hope for our future, right? It was a little bit weak and dim last year, but this year things could change, and they absolutely will. But you have to understand something. When it comes to hope, it is not a physical, concrete thing that you can touch. You can't grab hope, right? You can't buy hope. You can't sell hope. Now, what you can do is you can change the situation. You can obtain an object that would change your perspective to see that there is hope, but you can't fit. I can't go into Hobby Lobby right now and buy hope. I can't go into Walmart or Target and buy hope. I could hope for a brand new house. I could hope for a, a brand new car. I could hope for a better job. I could hope for a better church. But a hope at the end of the day is just wishful thinking. We already know that our hope was purchased on Calvary. We already have the ultimate hope. The only thing we have to do is continue holding on to it. Jesus is not, again, a physical being. We have to have that faith, the, the hope of evidence of things not seen. Hebrews, what, 13, 11? I can't remember exactly. But that's what, that's what, that's what faith is. It's the evidence of the things not seen. 
And so our faith is in a hope of something that we cannot see. And if we want to continue having hope for a better future, hope for a better family, hope for a better church, hope for a better community and a city, we have to hold on to the one thing that truly is our hope. And that's in Jesus. That's only in Jesus. There will never be anything else that can compare to it. But what we do know, if we know that our that our, our fights, our battles, our, our conflicts are in a spiritual realm and not in a physical realm, we know that we need to move into that dimension of this, the spiritual realm and let Jesus be our hope because he's the one that can provide that to you. I can't do that. This video, quite frankly, can't do that. But a message, yeah, a message about the one who can bring hope, that could change some things for people. We know where the world's headed to. We read about that in Revelations, right? We know what the future is going to, but now we're living in it. So what's the difference? The difference is it's easy to talk of hope, but it but is it easy to walk in hope? To walk around with your head still lifted up, even though everything around you is burning. That's the difference. And it is time that us apostolics Pentecostals, Christians, stand together firmly in the word and realize that our hope is in Jesus, that all things happen for the good of him, whether good or bad. All this is happening exactly as he proclaimed it would be. And will things get worse? Possibly. Will things get better? Possibly. But at the end of the day, does it matter? No, because our hope is not in this world. Our hope, our, our, our wishful thinking is on things above. It's not anything in this, in this world that we can purchase or buy or obtain or get. It's in the spiritual realm. And so we have to, we have to get focused. We cannot fall for this trap six days into the brand new year that the thief is saying, you know what? That hope you had, that little bit of more Jesus that I saw, I'm going to take it. I'm going to steal it. I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to kill it because if he can do that, we are back to square one. We are back where we were last year, hopeless. And I know this message is for somebody. I don't know why. So I urge you all, take this message seriously. Get focused. Control the things you can control. You can control the next video that you watch. You can control the next news that you digest. You can control how you respond to a situation that you're put in. You can control that. And if we will all just uphold our responsibilities to control that one little thing, I promise you, we can create a hopeful situation around us. And how do we do that? By putting more Jesus around us. Pray more, fast more, read more, praise more, sing more, love more. We can control those things. We can't always control everything around us, but you can control just a small little thing. So get back to it. Be hopeful that everything is going to be fine, that we have nothing to worry about. And I don't care if you live right now in the middle of D.C. You'd be fine with Jesus. You would be fine with Jesus. So hope you all enjoyed this. Consider subscribing. Turn on bell for notifications. Like. Share this message if it resonated with you. My name is Brother Mario. I got to get back to the house. Peace.